Hey, it's Tom from Meros. Today I'm excited to guide you through installation of MFC 100, the smart Wi-Fi fan and light switch. Before we dive into the installation, let's first familiarize ourselves with the compatibility requirements of this product for ceiling fans. The MFC 100 is designed to primarily replace switches that independently adjust the fan speed and light brightness. In simpler terms, within your wiring box, there should be distinct wires designated for light load and fan load. Now let's delve into its compatibility details. For starters, it's perfect for pull chain ceiling fans that lack electronic controls. However, if your fan boasts integrated fan speed controls, especially those solely operated via remote without a hardwired wall switch, or those with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi features, tread with caution. The MFC 100 will only play well if you disengage these built-in controls. Fans with DC motors, especially those with over 4 speed settings, are in the MFC 100's cup of tea. If you find you can control both the fan and light separately, but there is only one load wire in your wall, then separate electronic control of the fan and light is impossible with the MFC 100. In this scenario, it is not suitable. So, before we plunge in, ensure you've got the right partner for your MFC 100. If all sounds good, let's see what's inside the box. When you open your MFC 100 package, you'll find the smart Wi-Fi fan switch, your main control unit that brings the magic to your ceiling fan. Wire stickers to help label and manage your wires during installation. 5. Wiring nuts, ensuring safe and secure connections. 2. Screws to securely mount your switch. User manual, detailed instructions to guide you through every step of the installation. A sleek faceplate to give that modern touch to your walls. Before we start the installation, here is what you will need. A smartphone, a standard screwdriver, lineman's pliers, a wire stripper, and a voltage detector. And please ensure your Wi Fi signal is strong at the installation location. Switch off that power and have a quick look at our safety guidelines before we start. Let's start by removing the old device. Use the voltage detector to check the wires connected to the existing switch and ensure they are inactive. Find the white neutral wires inside the electrical box as indicated. Typically, the neutral wire is designated as white according to standard electrical practices. Find the other right wires and label them. Usually, the ground wire is bare wire or green insulated. Line hot wire would be black. The fan load would be brown or black insulated wire. The light load wire would be red, blue or black insulated. Your house may use different colors, but the functions shall be the same. As shown, label the wires accordingly. Before disconnecting the wires, take a photo of all the wiring and labels for future reference if needed. Loosen and detach the wire using the screwdriver. Use Lyman's pliers to straighten the wires. If necessary, trim the wire ends and strip about a quarter of an inch of insulation. Using the provided wire nuts, connect the wires to their corresponding counterparts on the switch. Once the wires are connected, carefully place the device into the wall box and screw it into place. Turn on the power, keep an eye on the status LED. 
When it starts blinking green and amber slowly, we've successfully installed the smart switch. To ensure proper installation, try using the physical buttons to control the fan and light and verify that basic controls are functioning correctly. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've done a fantastic job. We suggest to use the Meros app to pair the HomeKit version device so that the device could be added to Meros and Home app at the same time. Of course, you can use the Home app directly if you want to. Before we start, you need to ensure the following. Make sure your smartphone is running iOS 13 or a newer version. Preferably update to the latest version like iOS 17 or Android 10 or later. Ensure your phone is connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Before pairing, ensure you've held the power button for 5 seconds to reset the device to its factory settings. Firstly, tap on Add Device on the app. Then select Smart Fan Control and choose MFC 100. If you have already completed the wiring as explained before, you can skip the preparation and wiring steps and move directly to the Wi-Fi pairing step. If you are using the phone, proceed with the pairing process by scanning the QR code or you can enter the code. If you are using an Android phone, use Wi-Fi to connect with the product. Name it and connect it to your Wi-Fi. After network pairing, perform the light compatibility check. Bulbs vary in type, brand, model and wattage, leading to different behaviors. If your bulb flickers or doesn't light up after device installation, it may not be a bulb or product defect. Use this setting to adjust their interaction for proper bulb function. All done! Congratulations! Your MFC100 has now been successfully connected. You can control your fan's power, speed and light from anywhere with an internet connection. Furthermore, within the Maros app device settings page, you can adjust your fan speed settings, customize the power on state, custom button actions and explore other advanced settings. And that's how you turn regular into smart. Thanks for choosing MFC 100. Dive into a world of convenience with Meros and we will see you next time. Bye!